it should become obvious why things like pornography can negatively shape real world romantic and sexual interactions. This is a serious concern. The discussion is happening now. Sex, both the pursuit of sex and the act of sex increases dopamine two times. So it's a doubling above baseline. What dopamine does is dopamine really colors the subjective experience of an activity to make it more pleasurable, to make it something that you want more of. If you take something or do something that leads to huge increases in dopamine, afterward, your baseline should drop because there isn't a lot of dopamine around to keep your baseline going. Fortunately, most people do not experience or pursue enormous increases in dopamine leading to these severe drops in baseline. Many people do, however, and that's what we call addiction. When somebody pursues a drug or an activity that leads to huge increases in dopamine, and now you understand that afterward, the baseline of dopamine drops because of depletion of dopamine, the readily releasable pool, the dopamine is literally not around to be released, and so people feel pretty lousy. And many people make the mistake of then going and pursuing the dopamine evoking, the dopamine releasing activity or substance again, thinking mistakenly that it's going to bring up their baseline. It's going to give them that peak again. Not only does it not give them a peak, their baseline gets lower and lower because they're depleting dopamine more and more and more. And we've seen this over and over again. When people get addicted to something, then they're not achieving much pleasure at all. You can even see this with video games. People will play a video game, they love it, it's super exciting to them, and then they'll keep playing and playing and playing, and either one of two things happens, typically both. So oftentimes what will happen is the person only has excitement and can achieve dopamine release to the same extent doing that behavior and not other behaviors, and so they start losing interest in school, they start losing interest in relationships, they start losing interest in fitness and well-being, and depletes their life and eventually what typically happens is they will stop getting dopamine released from that activity as well and then they drop into a pretty serious depression and this can get very severe and people commit suicide from these sorts of patterns of activity there's an additional issue with pornography which is not often discussed guys in particular the brain is a learning prediction machine there are good data to support the idea that if your brain learns to be aroused by watching other people have sex, it is not necessarily gonna carry over to the ability to get aroused when you're one-on-one -on -one with somebody else. Or just create challenges in, in sexual interactions with, uh, you know, with, with peer, uh, with, a, with a real partner. But the idea here is that, you know, I'm not saying pornography as a stimulus is bad or good. What I'm saying is it, in its availability and its, extreme forms it's a very potent stimulus and very potent stimuli of any kind those set a threshold for dopamine release the higher the dopamine peak the bigger the drop afterwards and it's not that you drop to baseline you drop below baseline so again it's not these things aren't good or bad they just have to be controlled in a way because when people are pursuing dopamine peaks over and over and over and they aren't getting them, typically it's because they've been pursuing that activity far too often. It should become obvious why things like pornography, not just the accessibility of pornography, but the intensity of pornography can negatively shape real world romantic and sexual interactions. This is a serious concern. The discussion is happening now, and this isn't to pass judgment on whether or not people like or don't like pornography that's an ethical discussion it's a moral discussion that has to be decided for each individual and by virtue of age etc but again any activity that evokes a lot of dopamine release will make it harder to achieve the same level and certainly the greater level of dopamine through a subsequent interaction so Yes, indeed, many people are addicted to pornography. And yes, indeed, many people who regularly indulge in pornography experience challenges in real world romantic interactions. You now understand the mechanisms behind what I'm telling you.